Hey everyone, it's Jordan again with another Google Apps Scripting video. Uh, this is a continuation from my last video where we started this flashcard project using Google Sheets. And in this video, we're going to take those Google those uh, vocabulary words from Google Sheets and build a slide deck with them. Um, all we're going to have at the end is a little add-on menu where we can create a slide deck. It's going to give me a URL to the created slide deck that I can copy and just open up into another window. And I can see all my vocabulary words. There won't be any themes or anything on it. Uh, all of that stuff you can build in on your own. But you can see here that I've got my vocabulary words. And then I've got the Chinese characters and the pinyin on the next. And everything is just paired up and ready to use to create flashcards. So I hope you're interested in this kind of video. Please support me on Patreon or at least share this video with a teacher or productivity guru that you know, somebody who's just super into G Suite and help my channel grow. Um, stay tuned for about six seconds. Okay, let's get started. I've got my spreadsheet open and I'm going to open up the script editor. Now, this time I'm going to actually code and then talk about how I wrote the code. Um, and maybe that'll be a little bit quicker. Uh, let me know in the comments below whether you like the old way I did videos or this way better. I'm just trying out some different things with ways to make these videos. So I have a brand new script file uh, ready to go here. And now I'm going to code this out. Is run this on open function, uh, pretty standard, um, pretty standard little thing. Just add a button uh, that should be able to run our create slide deck, and that'll add it to this add-ons here. We should have this part one, and then create slide deck. Now, if I run this, I should get a link to a slide deck. It looks like I did, and with any luck. That should have our vocabulary words inside it. Um, let's find out. It's called greetings. That's a good sign. OK, no, it turns out that the code was correct. But when you run this, it gives you a little browser box. You actually have to hit um, OK on this before it continues running. So. Uh, I thought that it wasn't working, but in fact it is. So when we open this up, we can see our slide deck and it should have a page for every vocabulary word that we've created. And then the page on the other side will have the Chinese characters and the pinyin. Now that you've created uh, this slide deck, you can you know, add themes to it in any number of different ways. Um, you know, however you would want to, uh, maybe I should actually add a theme to all of them. Let's try this. Oh, no. Well, that's for uh, you to play around with. And another challenge for you would be to actually, when you create a slide deck with that slides app, uh, you're given this initial page. Uh, how can you give it the title? 
So give that a try. Try playing around with these uh, page elements in here. And now I'm remembering here that I uh, said I was going to talk about this code a little bit. Sorry, everybody. It's almost 9 p.m. Uh, and getting a little bit sleepy. There's only so much coffee in the world that I can uh, that I can put into my system. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm grabbing the sheet and I'm saving it into the sheet variable. I'm getting the name from that which I'm using to then create the slides app. You end up seeing that right here. Then I'm getting all of the vocabulary words from the range that I specify, which ends up being row two down to the end. And when you use this get range function, you actually have to subtract one from the last row. If you do get last row, it actually treats this empty row right below your actual last row as a thing. So you would have an empty array in there. You don't want that. So I always just subtract one. Um, there's probably other ways that you can handle that programmatically, but I just subtract one from it there. And then I'm getting the values, which gives me my multidimensional array. And then I have a for loop where I'm looping through everything. I'm creating a front slide and a back slide for my flashcards. And I'm using some predefined layouts. I'm using some predefined layouts uh, to, um, to do that. And there we go, my computer started to freeze there. Uh, title only, and then one with title and body. Now, it's a little complicated to actually write text uh, to these slides, but you can see here that I am uh, getting all the page elements. And then since I know what the page elements are, I'm just getting that index. So for the front, it's the zero index. Because, because, uh, because there's only one element on this page. You can see that here. Now on these pages, there are two elements. You've got this, so there's two elements. So you kind of have to be mindful of that. There's other ways you can get all the page elements and then you can loop through them. Um, you can get them as a bunch of different uh, types um, and you can check the documentation for some more options there. And then I'm simply getting the text and appending the text and column one, column two, and column three. Um, and then at the very end, I just return to the browser that message box with the URL for the slide deck uh, itself. So very simple code. I will share it on GitHub. Please pull it into your own projects, play around with it, modify it, put it back out into the cloud, and share it with everybody else. Um, so I hope this has been helpful, and I will see you next time.